Congratulations, you've reached video number nine, which is the implementation to segmentation. So this is the end of the video course. And now what we need to do is take everything that you learn up until this point, what we mapped out in the previous video and begin to get an idea of how to set things up. We're not gonna show every single detail, but we're gonna show you the process of what you need to do to set things up. We'll show you the form and action, how to set that up, how to set up conditional rules so that you can direct people to different places. And we'll show you what email autoresponders to use. We won't get in super detail with that because it's super easy to set up. But as far as setting up the form, we'll show you how to do that. And that's the crucial process. There's a lot of videos out there on how to set up the email autoresponder systems. Even the businesses that are selling access to their systems have a lot of information on that. So, so with that said, let's jump right in and do that right now. Okay, so wufu.com is actually owned by surveymonkey.com, but we're using wufu here. And if you go here, you create a new forum, you should see this page. Now, by default, you can edit the forum settings and that simply allows you to change the design, the alignment, and the form name and all that. But if we go over to add a field, in terms of building out your survey, what you want to do is you want to stick with questions that are very easy and non-threatening in the beginning, such as what is your age? What is your name? What is your email? What is your something that is very non-threatening? Because what happens is if you put your questions in that people feel like maybe invading their privacy in the beginning, then what will happen is they will be more skeptical or even reluctant to complete your survey. But if they've already started and they completed three questions, the higher chance is that they will complete it if the questions are easy in the beginning, because then they'll feel like the other questions are easier or they feel like, okay, I've already completed a few of the questions. Why not complete the rest of the survey or quiz. So psychologically, that is what is going on in their minds. So let's just enter here name and then email. So with Wufu, you just click it and it automatically shows up here. And we'll click save. Continue editing this form. And so we got the name, we got the email, we could do multiple choice. So you could even do essentially what we call camouflage questions to make it fun and interesting, such as what is your favorite color? First choice, second choice, third choice. And then you can get into the nitty gritty, such as multiple choice. What is most important to you? We can add another one that says maybe what is your age? What is your age? So we could have 25 to 34. We could have 35 to 44 based on the, what we saw earlier, 45 to 55 and we can see what's most important to you security home security we can say car security click on save Now here's where it gets interesting based on what they enter here, we could actually bring them to a different location. So if we select the field and we scroll down, we click on add branch and logic. So it says you can redirect people. So let's go back over here. Let's select this here, scroll. It says 
redirect people to different pages or fields based on their responses. And that's what you want, right? So going back over here, we can create a field rule and we can say if, if age is 25 to 35, then do what? Show, we could either show something else, like another question based on what they choose. And that will allow you to, to customize the, the survey as well. So we could do that. So we could say show name or show what is your favorite color or, or something else. So that's for showing the field rules. We have page rules, which allow you to redirect them to a certain page. So you can create a page rule if their age is that, skip to a certain specific page. So you could have different pages. You could have pages just for the fathers, for the single women or the married women or the elderly couples. And on those pages, you could have an opt-in form where they fill it out. Or you could send them to a page which has a video on it. And then, of course, we have form rules. We can create a form rule and say if the age is a certain age, you can redirect them to a website. So page rules is mainly within the form itself. But if you were to redirect them to a totally different website, you can do that here. So you could have this linking to a video sales letter, right? Or this linking to an opt-in form. Or you can have them sh show a message. But that's why you need to use wufu.com because a lot of survey builders don't really allow this. All they do is allow you to build a form and that's it. Now, what does this look like in practical terms? So we've, we've gotten this far in terms of showing you how to build a form and using form rules to redirect them to a page. So if we refer back to the mind map that we talked about earlier, we had the survey form, they had three pathways, and one pathway was going to the video sales letter. So all you would do is link this to the video sales letter. And the video sales letter would be located on a landing page where you're using something like ClickFunnels, lead pages, or a page builder that is hosting your video sales letter. And from there, you would redirect them from the video sales letter. Either they can buy on the video sales letter or you direct them from there to an opt-in form. You see what I'm saying? So you're really using just the form builder, wufu.com, to essentially redirect them to the three pathways. And from those three pathways, you would utilize web applications such as ClickFunnels, Lead Pages, and other page builders, which will allow you to host a video sales letter and the email autoresponder series and get them on your list. And then you'll need to integrate with email autoresponder systems such as getresponse.com or activecampaign.com. Another one is entreport.com, which is good. We've got aweber.com and others. So like I said, you're using this to redirect people over to lead pages or click funnels, which then you can grab their email, add them to your email list. And then after that, you show them the video sales letter. And then of course, based on the autoresponder, you can email them throughout one day to seven days or one day to 14 days, dependent on what you've mapped out. And that's how you implement everything. In this way, you've essentially segmented different people dependent on their different needs.